In this paper, we introduce a design for an asynchronous training framework. This framework outlines how each worker determines which data shard to train on. The steps to take and how the server updates models asynchronously. We then delve into an empirical study exploring various existing optimization strategies suitable for asynchronous local SGD. Our study uncovers a significant challenge in effectively utilizing momentum in asynchronous local SGD. We found that while adaptive momentum methods generally accelerate convergence of both inner and outer optimizations, their efficacy is reduced when both optimizations employ momentum techniques in asynchronous local SGD. To address these challenges, we propose two novel techniques, the delayed Nesterov momentum update, DN, and the dynamic local updates, DYLU. The DN technique buffers pseudo-gradients and strategically delays momentum updates, while the DYLU technique customizes local training steps based on the processing speed of each device. When combined and evaluated on a language model, these techniques allow asynchronous local SGD to approach synchronous local SGD in terms of perplexity versus the total number of local updates. Furthermore, they improve asynchronous local SGD versus synchronous local SGD in terms of perplexity versus wall clock. We also propose a method to balance the learning progress on different data shards by sampling a data shard inversely proportional to its learning progress. Additionally, we assign each data shard its own learning rate schedule, which includes a linear warm-up combined with a cosine learning rate to GK. We introduce a grace period for model synchronization, where workers wait processes updates from updates from other workers before receiving the updated model for their next training task. Lastly, we present an asynchronous task scheduling pipeline that assigns new training jobs for completed workers and synchronizes updates with the server model when necessary. Overall, our proposed solutions improve the performance of asynchronous training frameworks by addressing the challenges and utilizing momentum effectively and customizing local training steps based on device processing speed. These techniques lead to improved convergence and perplexity in comparison to synchronous local SGD.